to see who gets grounded and clamped. Regular season, the playoffs, to who gets crowned as the champs. So tap into this media podcast. Grab a drink with me and let's toast to this football forecast. Salute, salute. What's up, man? Um, let's toast media, man. I'm back, man. I'm back again. Raising Canaan Part 2, Episode 2. What is this? Power Book 3? Man, whatever the fuck, man. We in here, man. Um, This episode was fire to me. Very fire to me. It got so many Easter eggs. I really didn't know how to even put them all together because it's like, shit. This was here. This was here. That was there. Um, Just jumping real quick into it. Ra, the queen of this shit. She got a lot going on mentally that's fucked up that we don't really don't know what's going on. She's so full of herself, I'm not knocking her, but it's just that with all this shit going on, she do not see shit, but she's smart. She's very smart about this and her, and her game plans. She's taking shit from Symphony. She took shit from Juliana about getting a house. She's going to get a house somewhere in the Burbs, and that's going to be when... I think when shit finally falls the fuck apart, she's going to have her safe haven and all that shit to go to. Be like, okay, now I got to regroup. Um, Kane, on the other hand, he's just trying to figure out his way through life. He don't know if he want to go here, go there. Um, he's trying to help his boy Famous. Salute to Famous. 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 Um, famous, on the other hand, he really know what he's doing. He's a hungry kid. He's sparked by... What he did as a kid, whatever this poetry shit he did, and he got on the radio and became famous. That shit is, this kid was meant to be something. You know, out of the ghetto, out of the out of all this shit, not selling drugs. His shit is just so out there that that's why he's famous. He's going to be famous, but I think he's going to come, come up short um, with all his life and shit. His sister leaving. That played a factor. His sister came into the season. Then she leaving and shit like that. So he really don't have any type of stability. His mom kicked him out. That was some bullshit. I really believe Famous that he helped old girl. Um, it, I don't think it was like a fuck thing or something like that. I think he really just, you know, he just helped her. He might have had to put on his drawers at the end. But it was like shit. He couldn't get it in. He just said, bitch, you just sleep here. I didn't mean to say that. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But... I really believe Famous really didn't do shit. He went up to the college. A lot of shit happened within him three months. He smoking weed, uh, jukebox smoking cigarettes. That backstory is going to ha- going to come out in a minute. Um, but the three months going on while Ju- I mean while Kanan was in uh, Virginia, uh, jukebox on the other hand, trying to find her mom and shit. That's just going to play a factor because she's trying to uh, fuck around with the detective and shit. She done fucked up so much shit. Oh, yeah. White girl mom? She ain't taking this shit lightly. Not at all. She finna fuck all type of shit up. These white motherfuckers, that white printer shit, she finna use those jokers, bam, every time. That's what's going to happen with her. Jukebox is going to get fucked up. Kanan is going to end up falling into that, that, uh, that mouse trap with her. So that's going to happen. Um, Lulu can't get his dick out of his fucking hand because he keep fucking everybody. He trying to put all this trust in the fucking Aaliyah. Aaliyah probably can't sink for shit because he should have kept his motherfucking uh, hand on Famous, but he can't even give a fuck about Famous. That's why I think Famous is going to be the one. Lulu don't give a fuck about him. His sister don't give a fuck about him. So he's going to end up getting a manager that do fuck with him that's going to be like, oh, I'm going to groom you into this and you're going to be better than this shit. So it's going to be fire, I think, with about Famous and shit. Lulu, on the other hand, he trying to keep his hands into this damn, um, this music shit because he is not a hobby to him. He loves music, his passion. I get it, I understand it. But bro, your whole demo, your whole shit is the drug game, kingpin shit with your sister and your brother running shit. That's what it's about. It's going to end up eventually taking over that this, uh, that this music shit is going to be in a back burner. Crown is going to be like. Crown is the motherfucking key. He know that single shit ain't working. Suge Knight funky ass that came in the picture. Don't even worry about him. He's going to be a key a key piece, but he's going to get killed soon. So this Suge Knight blue wear in New York motherfucker is going to be out of the box soon. Salute to the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see the block in this motherfucker. <laughs> we in here. 
But um, that's going to happen. My boy Marvin, 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 Marvin. Salute to Marvin. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a shot from my boy Marvin. I got the paw going on right now. Marvin is here somewhere. This guy is smart as shit. Y'all keep fucking with Marvin is all I got to say. Marvin in his little circle and with all the, the council lady, he picked everybody apart in that motherfucker. He know all type of shit, eating Fritos, but he knew what old boy, whatever the fuck his name was, was talking about. He like he don't like being ignored. He don't like all this other shit. And that's what he said. I'm not even looking at you. I'm ignoring you. Homeboy rolls up, got in his face, spit coming down his mouth. He turning red and shit. Marvin like, bro, I got you right in the trap. I know what you fucked up already. He sat down. Old girl smiled. Yeah. That smile like, oh, this motherfucker, he's really paying attention to this shit. That's what was the key. He's paying attention to the whole surrounding. Like, yo, he's not just eating Fritos. He's not just shaking a bag. He's paying attention to every one of y'all. Because when he said his shit, somebody else rose their hand up and said the same exact shit. Then old girl says she's a, she don't like liars and all this other shit. So he knows Everything about what's all going on all around him, but he playing like he don't play like he just knows what the fuck going on. Like about the situation when he said about the uh, when Ross said something about um my man's or something about he's a hundred years old, but he's paralyzed on his left side or right side. But Marvin was like, "Yo, I seen him at the barber shop. He moving a little bit." Lulu and Rob, what they do? Roll their eyes and doing all type of other bullshit. Yo, he knows shit. That's why I think he fucked up and he knows everything. Y'all keep fucking with him. He'd already done lost his girl. His daughter done fucked up. He was already on drugs. Then I think Ra set his ass up low key. Nobody said shit about that shit. But Ra set, set Marvin up on the drug shit. So she can be kingpin. But that's another story for another day. Not going to talk about that yet. But keep an eye on that. The Dean shit. I really think the granny got a lot of shit to do with this shit, <laughs> Granny, I love my grandma to death. She ran the whole family. Grandpa was like the lead of this shit. So Dean is like the lead of this shit. He's the mouth. But the one that's playing chess with all this shit, I think is Granny. Might be wrong on this shit, but Granny is the key piece. He didn't even turn her shit off this time. Remember this shit. All this shit plays the key. He was like, boop, I ain't turn this off. Granny heard the whole conversation. Bro, she listened. I don't think I don't think nobody's paying attention to this shit. Grandma run this shit. All the women in this shit, y'all motherfuckers the devil. <laughs> Are we going there? We going there. Ra is the fucking devil. Famous mom is the fucking devil. Ra's mom is fucked up in the head. Who else? Uh, Scrap mom fucked up in the head. Jukebox mom fucked up. All y'all moms, I think y'all overrated. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers. I think y'all moms is overrated. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's go back to Adam and Eve. Bitch, we was running this shit before y'all got here. I'm tripping. But anyway, though, salute to Ra, salute to the moms and all y'all out there. Salute to you, mom. I love you. Always. But Granny, on the other hand, I think Granny's running this shit. And Dean is just, he's just the mouthpiece. Granny running this whole shit. My boy Unique, him and Waldo, Waldo, whatever the fuck his name is. You got to be down with the team through thick and thin. When your team fall, you got to still ride the flag to the end. He ain't riding the flag. He jumped to the other side. Neat going to run this whole shit. Neat going to come up. And the come up is going to be powerful. All it is, all these key pieces is power. Excuse me, Rob running shit. Then the Mexican cartel. We ain't heard about them yet. They going to come in probably like season, I mean, episode three or four or five. Down the line with Homeway get out of jail and they run ahead of each other, him and Unique. But at the time, Ra is the king of the queen of this shit. 
I love my boy in the back burner, Marvin, though, because he's gonna be he's gonna be the one that used to he used to run this shit. He fucked up, but Unique is the one that's gonna be come up out of the burners and all this shit. He's gonna be running shit soon, but he just gotta deal with this shit. When he was with his son, he was playing what checkers. Gotta start from the bottom, bitch. This chess, not checkers. All right. Keep fucking with him. He's playing chess right now. I mean, they playing checkers right now while he back to playing chess because he got to get back in the game with no work. He don't have a plug because Dean fucked up. Rodon took everything. He took his one hand, I mean, his right hand man. So he's definitely starting from scratch. Ain't nothing like an animal when they back against the wall. They going to see what happened. Unique finna show his ass. Joey Badass. About to show his motherfucking ass. But, um... This was a powerful scene, man. Lulu, powerful. He fucking up, but he's trying to run shit as a positive with the um, with the uh, music shit. That's straight. Marvin trying to get his credibility up in the streets, trying to get his credibility up with his family, with his sister, and all that shit. He still got a few fuck ups here and there, but he's still going to run shit. Kanan. He's just a kid. Everybody's a kid in this situation. You gotta remember that these are kids. They're not 18 and 20 year old. This motherfucker's a little bit of sophomore in high school still. Still trying to run shit. Scrap fucked up. He was there with his mom. His mom is the motherfucking plug. I mean the motherfucking CI. That's who the CI is. Everybody, I guess, know that because she run these car games, these illegal gambling shits in her basement, in her crib. She got caught up. I need you to figure out what's going on. So she the CI. That's what it was. And, Ju- and Scrap just got caught up in the, in, the, in the mix. Fucking Howard running his mouth. Trying to get in good with Dan Rye. And trying to get in good with Juba. I mean, uh, Kanan. Shit fucked up. But you got to remember with Scrap. Scrap no numbers. Scrap no numbers. And he can gamble. He's always willing for the risk. When he was going down at the end of this motherfucker. When he was going down that road. He was like, I love this shit. I love all this. We can make money on it. This is the power move right here. This the move. And who was listening to all this shit that don't pay attention to nothing is Marvin. That's the key. Marvin was like, yo, this motherfucker, he's not 100% true that this nigga's lying. Scrap ain't lying. But Scrap knew all this shit. This is going to take care of the 40s. This is going to take care of Baisley. Big Rays or whatever the fuck it's called. It can run all this shit. This is what Marvin hears. That's his right hand man. So what's going to happen? He end up dead. Rod. Whoo. Rod, you ain't have to do a headshot like that though. But my man Marvin dropping a tear like Nino on the roof on this motherfucker. Shit. Lulu had to turn around because that shit was powerful. It's always a power in the switch. Marvin had to stay and watch that shit. Because he got to see this shit through. Roger's making the decision on her own. It is what it is. You die, you die. You lie, you lie. We can't take no loose ends. I can't trust it. You got to go. Even though this motherfucker lost his eye. He's been a soldier since 14. He running all this shit. And she kills him. Lulu ain't swinging this time. Marvin knew he couldn't do it because he's not 100% on it. So Rob takes it. That's why Marvin cried at the end. He knew he wasn't 100% because he got love for this motherfucker. Even though he had to play stupid about him going to see Ebony. I don't even think that was Ebony. His cousin, that's probably his, that's his cousin. Ebony is an older chick probably. He's on some shit. That's, it was like Marvin, he put so many things together that he was like, I'm not 100% sure. But the story is not there. This motherfucker put up a thriller poster. But he, she wasn't there when his mom put up the poster when, when Scrap was there. It's a lot of shit going on, man. A lot of shit, man. I don't know what to say, but this this Raising Canaan shit has got a lot of fucking Easter eggs that is going so many places that you really can't stamp it because it really it's a it's a U turn every fucking turn. And I fucks with it hard body. Um, 
But as far as everything else goes, we're going to probably see, you know, Jukebox trying to figure out where her mom is. You know, like I said, she's a, probably a piece of shit. Even though Rock is putting all this shit in, in Jukebox's head. I don't know, but I think she has something to do with Marvin getting locked up. All that shit gotta play, is going to play out, I think. Like I said, I think Rob ended up locking up Marvin. She was in the middle of all that shit. She couldn't be with the drug game, so she's going to be in the church singing and shit. I don't know why the fuck she was in the back seat, though. That was a, kind of some spooky shit there, though. Why the fuck do you get out the back? This ain't an Uber shit. This ain't a Lyft. To the front. But she was in the back seat. I think she was in the back. I may be wrong. I I'm, 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 may have missed something, but it was fire to me, though. But, um... As far as everything go, man, this was a fire, fire, fire episode. Um, I'm going to keep this shit right here. Um, I can't wait for episode three to come out. This shit has got me on the edge of my seat, man. I don't want to see too many people die. Not yet. Not yet. You know what I'm saying? I get scrap. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep this story going. You know, we can't have nobody like Waldro or anybody them motherfuckers die yet. You know what I'm saying? I know people are like, oh, Lou's going to die. Marvin's going to die. Such and such going to die. You know, Famous going to die. Famous got to keep going because he's going to be famous soon. He's going to get a deal soon. I fucked with Famous. But um, don't forget about the moms. Old girl moms. That She's going to play a key part in all this shit down the line too. She's going to play a major role. Uh, Howard, he's still trying to get with uh, Kanan. That shit ain't gonna work because fucking, like I said, Rock is in this motherfucker's head. Mind control. She's really ahead of this shit. It's crazy. These moms is different. Y'all moms are different. When y'all put y'all hands around a motherfucker, that shit supposed to mean something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some... <laughs> I'm not gonna say too much though, but uh, I really appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Thank you for joining me. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. I will re reply to everybody. I don't even give a fuck if it's one person to 100 people. I rock with y'all. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Let's Toast Media. And oh yeah, football season. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I ain't forgot about you. We here. We just warming up with this shit. But football is on its way. My Michigan Wolverines, goddammit. Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh yeah. We gonna be on my fucking uh, motherfucking ground with the ten toes down, ready to run this shit. I holla at y'all. Episode three until football season start. Your boy Toast is out. As always, peace. LTM and the BKS connection. Listen, it's that time of the year again. Watching football and the high wings put the season in. Talking trash to see when it